driving. Trampling away, we are. I don't know where we are actually. We're um, between East Durham and Swaffham. East Durham and Swaffham. Nothing much to see, just the road. But we are, the sun is shining at the moment. Until we stop. Are you enjoying the drive, Mark? Yeah. Your first big trip yeah, away. Our first park up tonight is going to be near Boston, Lincolnshire. So, one of our favourites. Yeah, we've yeah, we'll been there a couple of times with Charlie One. So, big time. So, it's time now to um, go there with Charlie Two. <laughs> uh, yeah, our first proper trip away in Charlie Two. And so far, it's all going well. Nice and comfortable, travelling along, no problems at all. Had a bit of a chore day today, so we had lots of chores to do before we left. And uh, yeah, now just yeah, enjoy the fuel, ride. Got gas, got water, <laughs> drop the washing off, have a service wash and laundry. All good. So, catch up with you when we get there. See you later. It's so difficult to get into. There we go. Oh, they were reduced. That's why Christine bought them because they were reduced. And there we are, Christine. There's Hello. your crumpets. Thank you. Morning, Morning Sonic. Morning, Acord. Good morning. Today, we are in Boston, in Lincolnshire. Just up on the, um, up on a bit of a car park, high up, with the over there and we're going to go and take the dogs for a walk um had a lovely night this is probably about a third time we've been here but the first time in uh, charlie's two there he is and uh yeah it's a bit miserable the weather forecast isn't great that's typical i've got a week off work and the weather's rubbish so Let's just see how, how we get on. We're, we're heading up to um, the Yorkshire Dales, so uh, yeah, it's not going to be great, is it? But here you go, never mind. For our first trip away in Charlie 2, you got to take, take what you get, don't, don't you? So here we go. Come on, Christy, go for a nice walk. Oh, lovely. We do like it. got these extendable leads for the dogs and this is my first time using them. Yeah, Mark, and... you've got them upside down, no wonder you've got no control. Oh, anyway, I'm going to hand them <laughs> over to Christine because she's she's the one who can... You're um, useless. She can control them better, better than I can. You are an useless. They're good leads though. I'm not a fan of retractables, but these ones are proven good. Yeah, guys. World War II pillar boxes, which were for the defence of the coastline. There's three along here. So, uh, get them in. so 
yeah, one, two, three. So this is where soldiers would have been stationed to, well, not stationed, but you know, they'd have been here protecting the coastline, uh, keeping an eye out for any uh, of um, the Nazis trying to get in. But there's loads of these around the Norfolk and Suffolk coast. They're probably all up and down the, uh, the country, I should imagine. I would have thought they'd be a bit deeper than that, actually. So this is probably all filled in with rubbish. You've got bottles and all sorts in here. People probably... I don't know whether there would have been a machine gun post on the top here. Quite possibly. But yeah, a bit of history along the coastline. guys let's have a go this is the second one along we'll have a little look inside Ooh. yeah there's a lot of mud here obviously where it's been flooded this would have been a bit deeper I should imagine so there you go where they had the lookouts you can see through there Little posts, probably machine guns, bolted into here. But there's a bracket there. I'm not really too sure about all these because there's been a oh, there's Sonic having a look. But uh, yeah, I bet this has been used uh, by local kids and stuff to come and have their little drinks and parties and what have you. But uh, yeah, you got all round view of the area. Oh, dogs have found some some water in there to drink. Hey, yeah, right, cool. are you enjoying that? Yeah, is that nice? There we go, guys. Let's have a look in the other one. No. No. Dogs are fighting. Stop it. That's Acorn. She gets very aggressive. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, this one's different as well. There's no central pillar in this one here, so it's just completely open. Watch out, it's legs. Yeah, I know, see him. So, yeah. Acorn other side. Go up to the size of tie racks. I suppose that like these have lasted so long. I mean, it just goes to show you how well they were built. It's quite tall, but yeah, that's the, that's the third one along here. So they're built into this built into this mound bank I'm sure there's an air hole on the top there I don't know whether that might have had a machine gun on the top as well but uh, yeah it looks good brave men protecting our freedoms that we enjoy today Hi guys, and we've made it to our next park up, which is by the Humber. And we'll show you the view we've got of the Humber Bridge. And there it is, guys. Mate, having a lovely walk along this path. Zoom in onto the bridge. We're going to go along this path and just see where it leads us. Thank you. 
this guy. We're going to walk along this pass and see where it leads to. Now, I know there's a visitor centre, I think, the other side of the bridge, so we'll see. Or we might even, if we're feeling a bit adventurous and a bit energetic, we might even go over the bridge. But we'll see. See what happens. See where we get to. This view shows you just how big the bridge is. Here we are, underneath the Humber Bridge. Here we are guys, and here's the view from our back window in the van of the sunset over the River Humber. Absolutely stunning. Anyway guys, we're going to leave that video there. Tune in again soon for more of our adventures as we head up into Yorkshire, to the Dales, and see what we get up to. See you soon.